Good evening. We have a uh, special treat for us tonight. We're going to be talking a little baseball. I have with me uh, Richard Hurt, uh, one of I think uh, Nashville's best ball players. Richard and I were were teammates. We both went to Isaac Litton High School, and uh, we played ball together. But Richard has a much uh, larger story about his uh, baseball abilities, his playing, and uh, where that led him uh, ultimately to be uh, drafted by the uh, Pittsburgh Pirate uh, uh, baseball team. And uh, Richard was uh, Initially, I believe, drafted uh, to be uh, either a pitcher or an outfielder. Both ways. Both ways. So, um, Richard had a real passion for baseball. Uh, best darn ball player that I ever had the privilege of uh, playing with and uh, knowing. Uh, there was, uh, I know often said, and others I've talked to, I said, this is. Uh, best ball player and one of the best athletes that uh, Isaac Litton High School produced. So Richard, I want to welcome you this, uh, this yes, evening sir. and uh, tell us just a little bit about, uh, I guess from the uh, beginning, how you got involved in baseball, where you actually started, at what age and so forth and we'll kind of carry it up uh, perhaps, you know, to uh, your high school playing days and uh, you know, I recall, uh, I'll just mention this before I get Richard going here, that uh, in the ninth grade, uh, Richard was playing on the uh, senior high uh, ball team. That's oh, how good it was. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. It was the eighth grade. Eighth grade. That Charlie Kerr took me out of. Eighth grade. Because you're only allowed to play yeah. four years of. Uh, yeah. Uh, four years of organized. Okay. Right. Right. So, uh, if you want to take us a little bit from the uh, beginning, how you, you know, uh, where did your passion start and how did you begin your baseball? Right. Uh, my passion started probably when I was eight years old. Eight. Uh, I, my grandfather bought me my first glove and a baseball and uh, uh, went, around, went and pitched ball with my grandfather and uh, he bought me a pitch back. I'll never forget. Pitch back. Uh, you could take and throw that ball at it, and it'd come uh, right back to you, or it could yeah. be a ground ball, or it could oh, be yeah. up yeah. high. Yeah. And that whole entire summer, I wore that one out and had to get <laughs> another one, and just couldn't get enough of it. And uh, then when I was nine years old, uh, and Dan Mills Elementary School, uh, with all my friends up there. Yeah. Uh, we would get together, and I was probably the main ringleader. You were. Uh, you were. Let's, we're gonna play some ball, boys. <laughs> yeah, Time to play ball. And um, after after that end of it, over the years, uh, I I decided I'd heard. That if I went to Shelby Park, yeah, uh, there was a team down there looking for ball players. And it was called Falls Business College, and uh, they were doing tryouts. Well, from where I lived to Shelby Park was a pretty good ways. Yeah. Well, my mom was used to me climbing on my bicycle, <laughs> and she figured, well, he's He's gone back up there at that Dan Mills. Yeah. But I didn't. I rode my bicycle all the way to Shelby Park, which wow. was a pretty good little. Yeah. That's little like nine ride. years old. No, I was 10. 10. I was 10. 10 years old, okay. Uh, and I was going to get on this little league team. Yep. 10, uh, 11, and 12. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I had no problem getting there. Didn't get run over or nothing. <laughs> Not in the day. And. Uh, was able to park my bike up on top of the hill there, walk yeah. off down to the diamond. It was one of the first diamonds there by the road. 
and went over and introduced myself to the coach of that team, which was a Mr. Beard, and then another fellow the assistant coach was uh, Ray Fuller. Ray Fuller. And uh, <clears throat> I said, I come down here to uh, try out for your team. He said, have you ever played any organized baseball? I said, well, not really organized, but mm -hmm. with my buddies up at Dan Mills Elementary School with the Lot of sand lot. And uh, he said, well, uh, glad you're here. Uh, we'll take a look and mm -hmm. see. We're, we're not but about a week away from starting our season. Our season, will, our home field will be at Hattie Cotton High, uh, Elementary. Elementary, yeah. And... Uh, here in East Nashville, and I said, "Okay, that's that's cool. I don't care where it's at." And uh, he says, uh, "Okay, what what position do you play?" Yeah. yeah. Wherever you put me, I don't <laughs> care, Coach. I want to play baseball. Yeah. And uh, he said, "Okay, let's let's try you uh, in in left field. Mm -hmm. Make you see what you do in a left fielder." And uh, Done well, didn't miss any balls, mm -hmm. hitting balls to me, ground balls, pop-ups, and uh, he said, that, that, that's cool. We did that to start out with, and then we took the batting practice. And uh, I was probably about the fourth or fifth one mm -hmm. uh, batting practice, and Ray Fuller, the assistant coach, was throwing batting practice. And uh, I, I stepped up and... He throwed and I connected and it went over the head of all the <laughs> kids that was out there. <laughs> and that Mr. Beard says, whoa, you hit that one good. <laughs> and then, and you hit that one good. <laughs> and you hit that one real good. Have yeah. you been practicing a lot? I said, well, yeah. I was hitting them on top of roof <laughs> Rooftops up at Dan Mill School, and I, and I can all... attest to this. He <laughs> oh, would oh. hit them beyond the field. We had four fields. We would be generally play at the field closest to the school. He would hit them beyond the next field, and there was a street that ran behind the school called Aden. Yeah. He would hit the darn ball. I mean, he would hit the houses. And I could, oh, I could see the roof anyway. Yeah, I, I could see the ball, and we had actually lights in those days, and I could just see the ball climbing and climbing and climbing. And I said, "Oh, we'll never find that ball." <laughs> I mean, I could see just the ball going past the lights, but I can tell you, a heck of a hitter. So, Sorry, but I had to throw that in yeah. because I was witness so, to that. <laughs> he said, "I think you'll be a maker." Pretty good player for this team. Uh, we generally, for your first year of organized baseball, we generally don't, uh, you, you won't get a bunch of playing time, but you're mm -hmm. gonna get some playing time. Playing time, yeah. And uh, welcome you to Little League Baseball. Yeah. And I said, that's all I want. <laughs> Be on my team, I, I, do I get a uniform and a, yeah. and a, and a cap and all that? Yeah. I said, yeah, yeah. sure will. And uh, he said, uh, we'll, we're going to do a practice game. Uh, this was on a Monday, the next Monday. And we'll get you in the ball game. And I, when I got home from the first practice, it was dark. <laughs> and my mother is out on the front porch going, uh, where have you been? Yeah, I bet. I said, I, I, I got on a baseball team today. <laughs> she said, well, who is it? Tell me what it is. I said, it's Falls Business College Little League. And the coach's name is, is Mr. Beard, and his assistant coach is a Ray Fuller. And they put me in the outfield, in left field, and... He said I looked good, didn't miss nothing, and then, you know how well I love to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, he was really going, wow, mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. ten years old. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 
Then she said, well, where is this team at? They, was that at Dan Mills? I said, no. <laughs> yeah. They were at Shelby Park. <laughs> you did not ride your bicycle to Shelby Park. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> what? I carried my bat, tied it off on the handlebars, put my glove on the handlebars, and we was good to go. Yeah. And uh, I rode it down there, and I rode it back in the dark. She and that said, would be like, what, maybe five, six miles? Oh, anyway? it, more than that? It's probably more than that. Probably more than that, Probably yeah. more than that. At least, really. yeah, yeah. And then the next thing, uh, she said, you cannot do that no more. <laughs> and I said, well, how am I going to get there? Mm -hmm. I, they're playing a practice game next week, and the season's starting at Hattie Cotton Park, and I get my uniform next Monday. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I said, oh, I know, don't worry. She said, are you going to eat supper? And I said, no, not right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down and talk to my grandfather. Mm -hmm. And I told the baseball him, man. Baseball man. The told baseball him what man. I was doing, made a team, and told him all about it. And I said, I, and he was a painter by trade. Yeah, yeah. A hard-working yeah. fella, inside, outside. Yeah. And I said, I need a ride to the ballpark. Mm-hmm. At Shelby Park next Monday mm -hmm. at three o'clock. Mm -hmm. He said, "I see you, you can get a ride," and would crawl up in his old green '56 Chevrolet, and here we went. <laughs> and uh, he he really got fond of it, and he stayed the whole entire time. Yeah, and he loved baseball. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I. I